And now we come to the big one, the Irwin Prize for Secularist of the Year. And as well as the cash prize, so generously funded by Michael Irwin, this year we have a souvenir for our winner to take home in the shape of a golden ammonite. Ah. I'm going to ask Professor Dawkins to come on stage now uh, so he can say a few words and then announce who the winner is. obviously a troublemaker, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Huxley too was a troublemaker, as we saw earlier in the cabaret. I was reminded of a, a remark by Winston Churchill, who said, history will be kind to me, I intend to write it. <laughs> <laughs> the history of that debate that we know about was the history as written by Huxley. Um, there are other accounts of it, for example, that the real winner of the debate was not Huxley at all, but Hooker, which is seldom suggested, but is interesting. Darwin was not a troublemaker. Darwin was, um, as was said in the, in the cabaret, Darwin was a self-effacing man who didn't relish combat. Uh, he, did, he did adopt Huxley's word of agnostic uh, and um, his had a rather interesting argument, actually, with Edward Aveling, who was a famous atheist at the time. Aveling went and called on Darwin, together with a, a, a German visitor, and Aveling asked Darwin why he didn't call himself an atheist, and Darwin insisted that he was an agnostic. And when pressed why he didn't call himself an atheist, he more or less said that he, that he was an atheist, he didn't use the word, but that he said that atheist was too aggressive a word. And uh, he even went so far as to say, it's all very well for people like us to be atheists. But he didn't use the word riffraff, but that was kind of the, the <laughs> implication out there. The, the, the word he used was ripe. They are, they are not ripe for atheism. Um, we need to call ourselves agnostics for essentially political, diplomatic reasons. That's not my way. But that was. By the way, um, Ariane told me yesterday that she fondly imagines the bus campaigns come to an end. It isn't. I saw a bus today um, with the, with the, with Ariane's slogan on it. I was delighted because I was rather disappointed to be told yesterday that. Um, that, it, that the buses were no longer on the road. But it's gone viral. It's on the internet. There's a website. Make your own bus. Design your own bus. <laughs> and you can go in there and put your own slogan on. And there are lots and lots and lots of them. It's gone viral. Uh, my favourite of them is, if you see this bus, and then you see in the same logo, Ariane's logo, of the pink and orange thing, uh, you see the slogan. My favourite is, science flies you to the moon, Religion flies you into buildings. <laughs> okay, I, it's a very pleasant duty that I have for this great society, and I congratulate them on everything that they do, to present the Secularist of the Ward, Secularist of the Year Award. Do I want I do? No, not yet. Not, I'm, I'm going, to, going to give you a little award or a little plug oh, okay. because I want to tell everyone that not only does Richard hand out awards, he gets them too. And he's just won award, an award himself for the genius of Charles Darwin. And that film, uh, that TV documentary series has won the prize for the best TV documentary series at the British Broadcast Awards. And it's absolutely fascinating and captivating, so if you missed it on TV, do buy the DVD. <laughs> and now we come to the solemn moment. Who chooses this? Is you, you guys. Oh, it's the, count, the, the council and Michael Irwin. 
Well, the one who gets the council's vote, the ones who get the council's votes, uh -huh. uh, Lord Avery and Dr. Evan Harris. <laughs> something that the NSS has been trying to do for the totality of its 140 years existence. They got rid of the blasphemy law. Yeah. Using a cunning two-pronged attack in the Commons and the Lords, they forced the government into bringing forth an amendment that at last rid us of the ancient and terrible law of blasphemous libel. So I want to invite Evan Harris and Lord Averbury up onto the stage, please, to collect their well-deserved awards. problem is, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> now, I thought about splitting it in two so they could each have half of it, but actually they've both been very, very generous. Right at the outset, they said, we don't want the cash and we'd like you to keep it for another year's Secularist of the Year. So wasn't that wonderful? <laughs> So I should, I should conclude with a, a, a confession to both gentlemen. One, when uh, Evan had me working last Christmas, the Christmas before last, on the preparation for the blasphemy law, I must say I was thinking, as I was becoming ever more popular, unpopular in doing this work over the Christmas holiday, I bet this isn't going anywhere. And I couldn't have been more wrong, so I'm sorry about that. And the other one was with the meeting with Baroness Andrews, where I couldn't believe that she was going to say, well, how are we going to do it? Not, not actually say we ain't going to do it, really. So, again, wrong. But I think Eric shared my scepticism, and um, weren't we both pleased to be wrong?